Hi everyone and welcome back to EdTech Classroom. For today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to organize your Google Drive. If you've been teaching remotely, chances are you've been using Google Drive a lot lately. And if you're anything like me, it can sometimes be hard to stay organized. So I'm going to provide you all with some tips and tricks today to help organize your Google Drive this summer. So first, we're going to be creating a folder system. I like to keep the home page of my Google Drive organized by creating a folder system. Usually, all of my items in my Google Drive fall into six to eight main categories, which I create folders for. So I'm going to show you my method for organizing and creating a folder system. So here we have my folders. I have Archives, EdTech Classroom, which is my business, Google Classroom, Personal, which is for all my personal files, Professional Development, because I lead a lot of workshops, School Docs for stuff like forms and files related to my workplace, and then lastly, Tech Classes. So because I use tech classes in this folder the most, I'm going to rename this file to 01 tech classes. That way it'll be pushed up to the very top. Next, I'm going to change Google Classroom because I use that one probably the second most to 02 Google Classroom. So let me just finish up the order here for the rest of these docs. And now I'm gonna go through and change the folders to have rainbow colors. So this is just something that I like to do. I really love color coding things. Um, you don't necessarily have to use rainbow, but I think it's a nice touch. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just right clicking on each folder. So I'm clicking to change the color here, and then I'm changing the, the folder's color. Number two, creating a naming system. So first we're going to go inside of our tech classes folder right here and you'll see I have a very specific naming system going on. So I have tech class in all caps because that's the name of the master folder that we're inside right now. And then on the left hand side you'll see that I have all these red folders here. And again that's because we're inside of the red tech class folder. So I have tech class followed by the name of the course. So I'll go down here to pre-reader coding, that's a class I teach, and you'll see I have three different units. So I have unit one, which is basics, I have unit two here, which is coding puzzles, and then unit three, which is Kibo. So now you'll see I also have, next to these titles, the number of the lesson followed by the name of the lesson. So I have three lessons, for example, within unit one here. Lastly, we will be renaming and moving files as needed. So let's say that you have a file in your Google Drive that you need to move to a specific folder. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the file you want to move. Then you're going to click move to and then select the folder you'd like to move the file to. You'll see now that when I go into that folder, my file has moved over correctly. So now I'm going to rename the file to match my naming system that we talked about in the previous section. So this file is in unit one of my pre-reader coding class. So I'm going to title this file unit 01 basics because basics is the name of the unit. And then this lesson is 01 and it is called what is coding. And then this is my lesson plan. So I've also added on the words lesson plan. Thank you so much for joining me on this Tech Tuesday. I hope you learned a little bit about how to organize your Google Drive. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me on Instagram at edtechclass, or you can send me an email at myedtechclassroom at gmail.com. If you're watching this from YouTube, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Bye, friends.